Hello, funny junk in YouTube. Today, I'm going to be forging a Christmas ornament cross. And this is going to be about 50 50 stock removal, 50 50 forging. I've got the two pieces I'm going to use for the limbs. And this is going to become the circle which I'm about to cut out. We're looking at roughly five inches for the ornament overall length. So we'll get started with the stock removal bits and then move on to the forging. All right, and now that the pattern is adhered to the plate, we're gonna start drilling out as much of the center as we can. the cold cutting. You may notice this from other projects. I swear I've uh, modified this poor chisel more times than I can count. <laughs> And there we go. Now, it's just a matter of chiseling and filing away all of this. Which should go a little bit faster because I think it's gonna be easier to reach. It's pretty close now, and I'm going to begin, uh, filing. <laughs> I thought the Dremel would probably be a lot faster, especially since I'm already at the end of, like, the first day with this. I still need to actually have a day dedicated for forging, so let's go. Thank you. 
now that we're super duper almost there, we're gonna go around the inside of the spindle sander with this, and hopefully this isn't as dangerous as it looks. <laughs> Now we can just focus on getting the corners off the outside. All right, it's a bit uglier than I was expecting, <laughs> but we have a circle. That was kind of challenging. I suppose it lives up to the name then. I think that is enough for today. Uh, I will do the forging next. All right. And here we are outside ready to forge. Got our ring and the two pieces that will become the limbs of the ornament. So what we're going to start by doing is we're going to begin hammering this material down so that it's the same thickness but also so that it's the same width as our template. And when we finally get that to shape we're going to take the shortest limb and hammer down through this so that it comes out the other side just a little bit. And then we can take the longer one and go in between the two of them. That'll make more sense when you start seeing it, but um, that's the plan for now. So we'll get these pieces heated up and start flattening them. There's one. Uh, second verse, same as the first. In other words, I'm going to make the other one now. <laughs> got all the pieces ready and I'm uh, assuming this is gonna be nothing short of tricky so here goes nothing That's effectively what I've been trying to get to. And that's good, we're there now. I intentionally left it a little bit longer so that I can, you know, kind of cut off what I need to jump. But um, this'll, 
this will get us where we need to be for the moment. Next step is heat this up, not with the ring on it, and um, bend back the tines after we put the ring on. Not the prettiest thing in the world. <laughs> but I drilled the hole and I got the pin ready, so we're going to uh, paint it now. All that's left to do is kind of flare these out a little bit. left on my phone so I gotta be quick about this that is the finished cross now it is wobbly and a little bit weird wonky but um, it's not too bad looking for the first one I would say things I would do differently not use this thick material I'd probably use like half as thick and it would certainly honestly be way, way faster if I just had pieces to these dimensions already. Especially if I could get a, get a tool that could cut this circle out specifically, like from the inside, like a large diameter. Um, I don't know, they make these things that go in a drill press that like have hacksaw teeth on them, I think. And I'm pretty sure you can cut metal with them. So something like that would probably work pretty well. But uh, not too bad. I don't know if I will put it on the tree. <laughs> it's got a little bit of the ugly, but um, not, not too bad, I guess. All right. If you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching very much. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all that stuff. If you want to be a part of the next challenge build, you can hop on over to my Patreon. I let my uh, Power Hammer tier patrons vote in a poll every other month i'll draw up some designs or i'll take some designs off of the internet and i'll attempt to forge or make one of them and uh it's the winning one is the one that i'll i'll forge or make anyway thank you very much for watching and i hope you all have a nice day